about red light cameras. They can be a controversial topic among drivers and law enforcement. Drivers in Cathedral City have three red light cameras watching them. Some drivers say they don't like them because they aren't timed fairly. I investigate this stop and go problem. A red light camera has Suzanne Reese seeing red. She was driving along Ramon Road a couple years ago. It had just turned yellow and I went on through. And then I received in the mail at a later date a ticket for $490 for running a red light. Feeling the ticket was unfair, Suzanne didn't immediately pay the fine. When she started paying, she was late on a payment and was charged another $300. I've paid uh, $790 and I still owe $500. By the time all is said and done, Suzanne will have paid nearly $1,300 for the ticket. It's been very frustrating. I emailed the city of uh, Cathedral City and uh, th there's just nothing you could do. It's just uh, a matter of $53 a month and uh, an extra charge if you pay it online at their, w their website. And uh, it was a terrible burden and uh, it felt like highway robbery. She insists the light was not yellow for long enough. I asked Patrick Milos with the city of Cathedral City could the yellow signal have been too short? It could be possible, but it's highly unlikely. The red light camera contractor is responsible for the camera, the city for the light synchronization. Traffic signals are checked every 30 days to do pre uh, preventive maintenance, whether there's a complaint on them or not, and to make sure that the timing is correct on them. Milo showed me the records for the light maintenance and timing sheets, something any person who gets a ticket can request. And you can fight them in court. There's uh, several different ways and it explains it on the citation. And the only reason I know that is because I got one. Here's what happens when the red light camera catches a suspected violator. The video is sent to the contractor, they review it, then forward it to the Cathedral City Police Department where officers look at it and decide if it's a real violation. We have to determine what red light violation occurred and then there we have to be able to identify the vehicle which is the license plate and we have to be able to identify the driver. Captain Chuck Robinson says the cameras are there for safety. We've had about 30 percent, 35 percent reduction in our, in our major collisions in those intersections since the cameras have been installed. And even though the cost of the ticket is high, police say it isn't a money maker for the city. For the last five years, I think revenue wise, we've probably made a, around four to five hundred thousand, but that doesn't count the personnel costs that we have involved in the system. So it's, it's been about break even. But Suzanne says the light isn't fair. Because I counted this light and it was only one and, one and two tenths seconds instead of 4.3 seconds that it should be at 45 miles an hour. So it was impossible for me to stop. Because there's ongoing road construction on Ramon Road, the normal speed limits are covered. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the speed limit normally is. Peering in there, it is 40 miles an hour. The city later confirmed that's the speed limit in that area, and it hasn't changed in years. It's actually federal guidelines that say how long a light must be yellow. For a 40 mile an hour zone like this one, the minimum is 3.9 seconds. Let's go ahead and time it. I am looking at 4.9 seconds this time for that yellow light. But what was it back when Suzanne drove through two years ago? This particular citation, my, my belief is that we were at the minimum for the Department of Transportation. Captain Robinson shows me the video. On top, it says the light was amber or yellow for exactly four seconds. The captain also timed it with a stopwatch and came out with four seconds. Just point one second away from the federal minimum. Suzanne thinks these red light cameras should be stopped. Well, I think they should all be taken down because I, I would imagine that uh, if they evaluated all of them, that a lot of those tickets are, if they would watch those videotapes, would, would be null and void. 0.2 seconds appears to be all the difference between a $490 ticket and being in the clear. Now, if you do get one of these red light camera tickets, there are instructions on the citation on how to appeal it, and also a link to the website where you can watch a video of yourself in that intersection.